So, you guys remember that dope free DAW recording software that I was telling you about that you can get free on PC? That's just as good as Pro Tools and Logic and FL Studio and Ableton Live, if not better. Well, I finally got it to work on my MacBook Pro. Keep on watching this video. Let time slip away. Now you're gone. What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. Guys, I got some great news. I finally got Cakewalk to work on my MacBook Pro. Any version before, I believe the M1 uh, Mac Mini or the M1 chips for the MacBook Pros, if you can get boot camp, on your computer then you should be able to load windows on your macbook pro that's what i did to get it accomplished guys i went ahead and put windows 10 on my macbook pro this is a 2012 version of it and check this out it only had four gigabytes of memory and it only had about i think 128 gigs of space or something like that i purchased this thing from somebody for like 100 bucks and what i did was i just pretty much stripped it down and i revamped it what I mean by revamping this thing is I pretty much added 16 gigabytes of memory, even though Apple said that you can only put four. I went ahead and put 16 in there anyway, and I haven't had any issues. On top of that, guys, I went ahead and took out that hard drive and I put two SSD hard drives in there using the caddies. I pretty much took the CD drive out and put a caddy in there with a 500 gigabyte SSD hard drive in it and then i also used another 500 gigabyte ssd hard drive in another slot giving me a thousand gigabytes of ssd hard drive space in this computer it boots fast the programs open fast and it performs really well the reason why i did that because i didn't want to invest into the m1 mac mini but i went ahead and did that and that's going to be something for another video but guys i'm here to tell you that that free dog that i was telling you about cakewalk is now for free it is for free it's been for free and now it's available for you guys who can get boot camp on your macbook pro to utilize it so guys i know that the other video that i posted for you guys got like 315,000 views and still counting so guys i truly appreciate that guys shout out to all you people out there who took my advice who downloaded cakewalk who actually started recording in the software shout out to the people who bought the template that i created for you guys to start recording right now shout out to everybody who watched all the tutorials guys i definitely recommend that you get cakewalk and i'm not joking guys this software is free and you can do anything in it I'm talking about you can load your VSTs, you can load a bunch of plugins to it from Waves, from any third-party plugins that you want. It also comes with free plugins, which is a big bonus in my opinion. Guys, not only that, you're able to do sound design to any video files that you may want to upload to the program as well. Guys, it even allows you to put in 100 plus tracks of audio tracks. So whatever you may be working on, if it's a big project, don't worry because the program can handle it. Guys, I was blown away by this program when I first started working in it. And guys, I'm telling you, it is a game changer because it's free. No subscriptions. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Guys, you download it. You put this thing on your computer and you get to work. All that running your mouth and you don't even know me. Discussing all my business. Now you're gone. Time slip away. Now you're gone. Just to kind of tell you exactly what I did to be short and quick with it, I have my old MacBook Pro. I decided to go ahead and use the Bootcamp Assistant to go ahead and put Windows on my computer. Now, for me personally, this being a 2000, a late 2011 model, I had a lot of trouble with the Bootcamp Assistant, and I had to do a lot of research on figuring out how to go ahead and get the Windows Bootcamp on my actual hard drive or on my computer, okay? So what I did was instead of partitioning my main hard drive that has my Mac system, I just utilized my second hard drive that I already have in the computer. So now when I boot my Windows, it either goes straight to my Windows and then I have the option by holding down the option button to go to the Mac side or just to work on my Windows side. Now, for anybody else that has a Mac that's pretty much going to work flawlessly during this process, all you have to do is have a USB hard drive that has at least eight gigabytes or more. And you pretty much use the Bootcamp Assistant and go through that process and it will pretty much load the windows on there for you and make that USB into like a bootable USB so you can go ahead and boot your windows to it and you just run through the process. After running my updates on Windows 10, what I did guys was I finally went to my Cakewalk download that I had already saved previously from my PC 
And what I did was I just went ahead and ran the setup. And once I ran the setup, guys, everything worked flawlessly. I didn't have any issues. I also installed FL20 on this computer as well, so I can kind of work with those programs in unison on the Windows side. On my Mac side, I'll pretty much continue just to work with Logic Pro and Pro Tools on the other side, as well as I can install Pro Tools on this side as well, on the Windows side. Guys, I pretty much got it to work flawlessly. I've been recording in it. You guys know that I have a template for sale for you guys. I pretty much loaded up that template and started recording right away, which made it super convenient. So guys, I'm gonna just kind of go through this and show you guys exactly how it was for me, what I did and what it looks like. Let's jump into it. You can see I'm utilizing it on a MacBook Pro and just to show you proof down here, here it is. This is Bootcamp. This is letting you know that this is a MacBook Pro and that I'm utilizing Bootcamp or Windows on a Windows side while using Bootcamp using Cakewalk on here. Now in the process, here's the best thing about this program in general is this help module. This help module basically every time that you move a cursor over something, it's going to pretty much tell you or give you an explanation of what it does uh, in general just in case you don't understand which is really helpful overall. So um, that's something that I really think that you guys should utilize in general. They have this note section, which is really huge to me because when I write songs and I'm recording at the same time, you can actually just type in stuff, whatever you want in this particular area. And, you know, just look at the lyrics and record your song at the same time. It does support MIDI and it does support VST. So if you have like a particular VST, say that you, you know, installed or whatever, then all you got to do is just bring that up, uh, which I'll go ahead and do right now. Recording this program, I'm mixing this program, master the whole nine yards, video edit, sound design. This program is capable of doing it all. Um, your metronome will be set up here. You just click the metronome. You can actually have a count in if you want to. Uh, you can set up your playback and your recording so the metronome is actually playing while you're re recording or at least uh, trying to get a count in. So you can set all that stuff up here, especially if you know how. Uh, you can just pretty much change the type of sound that you get cowbell, click, whatever you may want, okay? Uh, if I went to that particular track and I didn't want to see all this particular stuff here, I'll just click this little knob right here and then I'll go down. And if I wanted to change the track color, I'll click down at the bottom down here. Boom. And you can just choose whichever color that you may want to choose in the process. But as far as just like having some stuff that comes with its own delays, um, own distortion, own some its own dy dynamic plugins and things like that. Uh, a lot of its own EQ filter guitar stuff modulation you know just anything that you may utilize or may want uh it's definitely gonna come with the program for you guys to get started if you guys are interested in a template i actually have a custom template with stock factory plugins for sale and i have everything set up for you guys already so i also have fl studio 20 installed on this computer too so you know if i just exit out of this and i type in fl studio FL Studio 20, same thing. I was able to load FL Studio 20 on this side with no issues and it pops right up and I'm able to make beats and do whatever I need to do. So guys, I definitely encourage that you do this and don't hesitate to add this to your MacBook Pro. If you have Bootcamp, go ahead and put Windows on the opposite side. It may not work on the M1 chips, but I do know the older MacBook Pros, it does allow it. So guys, I would definitely recommend that you take advantage of it. And I hope that this video really helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so that was pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, and let me know what you think. Guys, I know you gotta be just as excited as I am. This program is free. Guys, if you get Windows on your MacBook Pro, you can record right here, right now with a powerful DAW. The best thing that I like about this DAW is it has no limitations, guys. So go ahead and upload as many tracks as you need to. If you want to record bands, if you want to record MIDI, if you want to use VSTs, if you want to use third-party plugins, if you want to record a bunch of vocals, sound design, do whatever. Guys, you can do whatever in this DAW, and it's absolutely free. So I definitely recommend that you guys get on it right now. If you have a MacBook Pro, you should be utilizing Bootcamp anyways because it just makes your MacBook Pro that much more powerful to be able to have a mac os system on it as well as the windows so you get the best of both worlds giving you the freedom to utilize whatever windows programs or software that can't be utilized on a mac 
on your actual computer and the same thing vice versa so guys i definitely recommend that you take this route and do it right now get on it right now find out where your boot camp is use the boot camp assistant get your usb drive and get windows 10 on your macbook pro right now download cakewalk right now because it's the program for you it's absolutely free and it costs you zero dollars zero dollars make it happen guys so go continue to go watch my videos go check out all my other videos and the tutorials on cakewalk and that's always stay tuned for the next video i'm gonna try to do this right because i've been here before I just want to make sure